So, okay, it has been five years since Windows 10 came out. Should you be celebrating it? No, you should not be celebrating it. Wanna know why? It, is, it has too much bloatware, and it also has adware, and not just that, but it also has... If you set up with the default settings, and you're finished set up, you're greeted with the news. Like, who wants to read the news after they've done watching the operating system? I mean, install the operating system. So, what I'm doing today is, I'm going to install Windows 10 manually, which means that I will not be using the automated installer. Now, Enderman on YouTube has taught me how to do this, and you can check out his video in the description below. So, let's start things off. We're going to power on this virtual machine. Do I Hold on. Uh. So. <coughs> the first thing you have to do is to load uh Windows, the Windows installer. Now I previously tried it with the Japanese version, but <coughs> but even if you change the keyboard input method, the one on the command line is still uh. Is still like the layout of the installer. So when you open up Shift F10, then you can open the command prompt. Now let's we'll start with the disk partition -ing thingy. So the first thing you have to do is to select disk zero. I there's a shortcut and and let's convert this to GP. Because I I booted using UEFI. If you use GS, I mean CSM, then you don't have to do it. <coughs> well, a lot of schools are still using CSM boot because <coughs> it's easier to flash across like the network <coughs> and stuff. My high school still does that, but I'm in college, and just to let you know. The education system in the United States is a mess. Like, <coughs> honestly. But I heard that <coughs> Drew Pavlo, who is a Australian college student at the University of Queensland, he got punished <coughs> hard by um by protesting for Hong Kong independence and Tibetan and Uyghur freedom, but in the end, there's some mainland Chinese mobs that attacked him, and it was later revealed that it, those mobs actually had connections to the Chinese government, and the Chinese government had really close connections to the University of Queensland, so in the end, I just despise the university system. <coughs> and there's also stuff like racial profiling and stuff, which has been going on since the end of May. So two months now. Let's see. Sorry. Actually, it's not important. Okay. So, <coughs> so there's a create a partition of 500 megabytes if you're using EFI and you do format FS bat 32 alright so create part primary oh wait uh, I skipped a step so <laughs> you assign the EFI partition W because we have to install the boot order later. And and format FS NTFS. When you install Windows, it must be on an NTFS partition. Since Vista. But I forgot to 
put in quick, so it's going to take a while. <coughs> and just so you know, <coughs> five years ago I went to the school uh, and they, uh, they're basically a Soviet gulag camp or something, or indoctrination camp. Because, even though it's a private school claiming to be state approved education for, I'm talking about US states, but, New, but it's approved by New Jersey for like, uh, autism or something, in reality, they're anything but. They only lobbied the New Jersey government to get the state approved certification. The facility is in shambles, and they don't want to do anything about it. And the <coughs> the people in the middle, elementary middle school are nice, but when you go to the high school, it's like you're in communist China. Like, five years ago, I went to their summer camp as a freshman high schooler, and I got into an incident that day. And when you get into incidents there, they'll take it very seriously depending on your supposed behavior record or even race. Okay, so let's assign this to the letter C. And uh, the reason it's C and not A or B is because... Uh, Back in the MS-DOS days, your floppy drive would be A, and your second floppy drive would be B. So when they introduced hard disks to MS-DOS, it would be C. <coughs> so then you can exit here, and, uh... Let's go to the sources, and we have to apply the image. So, we have to apply this image. Now I have to check the command. <coughs> Unfortunately, it says it had not found the. Uh, so, let's see. Uh, install that when it might have been compressed to install that uh, ESD. I don't know, it's kind of stupid. Oh, it's now using ESD because it's more compact. So we're just gonna wait. <coughs> and the computers at that school are beyond terrible. You might think, oh, is it the Dell or HP? No. They're custom built by a third party firm that doesn't even know how to do network deployment. They <coughs> they like install apps on almost every computer, but they miss one computer. And when you get into the high school, some of the people are just whiny and annoying. Okay? But there's this one gay guy who keeps screaming every time there's something. Like, he's worse than Michael Jackson, and he's not good at all. I mean, not Mike. Michael Jackson was legendary, but that boy was not doing it for show. Okay? He was doing it. To piss people off. Myself included. Then I got transferred to another class in November 2015. And the school claimed that it would be better for me. <coughs> but in reality, what good have they done? Nothing, of course. So, <coughs> then I was placed with, with a bunch of shitheads. I won't say their names, but all I could say is they are they are scumbags, okay?
So we're going to install the bootloader. Oh, it says go back to these sources. <coughs> okay, now it's entered the registry editor because we had to load some hives. <coughs> so we had to uh. Actually, I'm gonna try it there and <coughs> port the highs because because I think Windows 10 changed way too much. Windows. Oh, there's hives, so we need to import. Uh oh, wait. So first, we need to import the <coughs> software as soft. All right, so. Let's try doing this. Or was it HKLM? Oh, there, HKLM. That's. <coughs> so you were at sources. So we need to go back to the C drive. <coughs> and uh, you could go to Windows, System 32. This is actually my first time doing it, so. And we have to go all the way down to con oh wait, config is up there and select software. Let's import this as soft, okay? As in ice cream. <coughs> now, <coughs> in Japan, it calls self serve ice cream. Uh, I mean, not self serve. Was soft serve ice cream as a uh, <coughs> soft cream or something. Now we have to import system as sys. It's not it's like sister, but replace the i with an o a y. And <coughs> the thing is, <coughs> my homeroom teacher for the summer camp program called. The Americas and a boring island, and and Europe and <coughs> Asia is really cool. Like, dude, have you have you even traveled to <coughs> like Toronto, New York, Los Angeles? Have you even traveled there? Okay, so <coughs> then we had to go to. To like software, uh, what is it? Oh, uh, Microsoft Windows. I like to call it Wind Blows, okay? Cause this shit blows. Current version policies and system. Create a new D word called Verbo Status. Has to be spelled uh Okay, so uh we have to change this to one <coughs> and uh there's also cursor suppression. We'll change this to zero <coughs> and uh we have to go to H K L M, which stands for H key local machine. Sys, and we go to uh, setup and <coughs> change this change CMD line to uh, CMD.exe. This will launch the command line instead of the Windows deploy <coughs> here. And once you're done. You, uh, all you have to do is close out the registry editor and you must run this command. <coughs> okay, so we're going to reboot this. <coughs> and 
And we'll see if we did done anything correctly because Because one wrong move can actually mess up your system. So right now it's deploying stuff. Uh, so... <coughs> oh wait, there we go. Here's a command line. Uh, so... Next you have to run win deploy. Oh wait. Hold on, why? It's not recognized, so... That's not it. When deploy does not show up here for some reason. I wonder how I'm going to like, deploy the drivers. Maybe I messed something up along the way. Robot status, I did that. Cursor suppression, CMD. Uh. <coughs> so, I might have to do some research, unfortunately. So, I had to open up a new browser window and I had to look for uh, <coughs> okay so so we're just going to, to see oh we're in the system 32 directory now the reason <coughs> we'll try running Win Deploy once again, but it's not recognized system. So CD percent oh hold on. CD system <coughs> Okay, so I think my install I, I kind of messed up on the install process. Because, <coughs> okay, so we have to go local machine. So our <coughs> keys that we put in before have, uh, not, nah. okay, how do you miss anything? Verbose status, curse suppression, string CM. <coughs> I did use to correct things, but install.esd does not do the same thing as install.wim so <coughs> in reality I might have uh, not done a good job so <coughs> I'm just going to see what I could do about it No, that's QT5. <coughs> now, it's only good for like the earlier versions of Windows 10 because, uh, So, right now I have to look at, uh, Windows, Windows, so, <coughs> okay, so, I 
she has a CD to Panther. Okay, so we need to see what is used instead of when deploy. What is executed? So, we'll try the system directory. But there's nothing here. <coughs> okay, so tween. Had to read a lot of stuff about Mark Twain. But they do like a really Marxist education thing in my uh, high school I went five years ago. <coughs> anyway, let's go to setup and Pawn. Oh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> here's the problem. Let's see, Windows deployment issues. So, so let's see. Uh, let's go recommended version. Okay, so <coughs> they said that you need an eighty K or something, but I'm in the middle of installation, so uh Configure a test lab, Microsoft Deployment Toolkit. <coughs> I want to deploy in the local uh, SRV1. We are the main image. So, what we have to do <coughs> is um, MDT needs. So this, no, that's MDT build lab, but this does not deploy on the computer. This deploys <coughs> in across the network, which uh, which is kind of confusing because. Endpoint Configuration Manager needs uh, <coughs> so this is actually really complicated. I might not be able to do this so deployment considerations so we don't need infrastructure requirements. What we need is there's a deployment uh, toolkit which I really wish to run in a command line while I uh, there's there might be some problems with my internet right now because it's just been getting less and less stable these last few days shame on you Verizon and also shame on you Cloudflare Uh, I unfortunately, uh, 
I think I removed it in this version, so... <coughs> well, I'll try to find an alternate, uh... Dang. An alternate for wind deploy, which... <coughs> can someone please tell me which, uh, process... Uh, like, runs after the, um... I don't know. So, right now I'm just struggling. And, this is for Windows Server 2008, which is 2000 late. That's from a Black Eyed Peas song called Boom Boom Pow. I listened to that back in the day, but... And let me tell you this, Fergie was a uh, temporary member in um, the Black Eyed Peas, because when it came back in to service, Fergie already left. So, what I need to do is... I can't find windeploy.exe. Did I deploy the wrong image, or did it only deploy, uh, so I just have to look for when deploy, but it's, n I don't know, Microsoft likes to destroy, uh, evidence, so we want to explore when deploy, group after sysprep, so, I had to run sysprep, so let me try that. It's not. Oh, it's in here, so... <coughs> it has been in there all this time, and <coughs> I forgot to write it in my instructions. So it was actually my fault. Oh, wait, this is finished, so when... <coughs> so we want to add a user, so let's name this user, uh... Akidu. <coughs> uh... So... You have to add it to the group manually, unfortunately, so... Hold on. I forgot. Uh... Whole group users... Add... I think I ran the command, uh, incorrectly. So... Net user add... Oh wait, net user add, uh... Alright, so that local group add users. Users, uh, add users, a key do. And we have to add this to the administrators. Okay, so once you're done, get to one registry edit again. <coughs> so under HKLM, system and uh <coughs> set up we have to change the D word value O O B E in process progress to zero. We have to change <coughs> uh the OS loader path. Oh no. The setup type to zero, and we have to change the <coughs> system setup in progress. It's already in zero. So once you're done, <coughs> it, then we have to play the waiting game.
We don't know how to wait how long, but while I wait, my mom went to Walmart, which is a company I don't really support anymore. Okay, so the computer reboot. Now I'm using an NVMe drive to host my VM. So I'm probably going to get maximum performance. So here we go. Um, need to turn off all these settings because if you turn on these settings, there will be like political stuff when you start up the browser. Then click accept. Well, it's still popped up. Sorry. You don't want to read the news. It's just trash. And... After a successful deployment, we can choose to install VMware tools. Wait. Are you going to just go and install drivers by itself? I should install tools because... Because... Why? Oh, hold on, let's... Just... This is probably installing all the stuff that, uh... I'm just gonna wait. Okay, we're just gonna have to install the rest of the drivers. Now, for some interesting reason, Microsoft did not allow VMware to put their drivers on Windows Update. Or, it's not on there. So, we have to wait, uh... I said that VMware is also like a uh, a company that makes like virtual machines and hypervisors and all that stuff. <clears throat> you know, I was in Japan like either one or two years ago, and I was in uh, Tokyo, in Shibuya. I was at the Lotteria, and someone was using a VMware app. I mean, it was a remote management app for VMware. On the tablet. Actually, it was an iPad. Yeah, Shibuya is a really um fun place, but don't expect it to be clean like most of Tokyo, or so it seems. So once you're done with this, and you can restart. <coughs> I'm surprised that I could actually do that. And it, but most of my time we had to, I had to look for a wind deport, so I had to change my uh, tutorial. Alright, so CD wind CD2. Okay, I named it Wakidu because Wakidu is the character that actually controls the camera on Mario 64. I played the hell out of Mario 64. So let's uninstall news and water. And that's basically it. Enjoy your Windows 10. And yeah, I have something else to announce. On August 24th, I'll be holding another stream to celebrate Windows 90 Windows 95's 25th anniversary. So Keep your eyes on there and uh, keep your. I don't know how to say, but look, do look out for it. I'm signing out. Have a good day.